Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. This is I Allegedly. And uh, I've got a good one for you today. It's really windy here this morning. And uh, today we're going to talk about the Bank of Elon and how Elon wants to have his own bank. I want to give you a little bit of information on that and how most likely this is going to happen. So uh, like, subscribe, join the email list. And if you're on the list, an email just went out, so check your spam filter. Now, first things first, guys. Elon Musk bought Twitter and rebranded it X. Okay, now, here's the fascinating thing about this that some people don't even know, is that Elon Musk, in 1999, formed a company called X, X x.com, the letter X. And I will never forget my brother calling me and saying, hey, do you have an x.com checking account? And I'm like, no, what's that? Well, this guy formed an online bank and you can go and you can have your checks through this online banking portal called X. And I'm like, I've never heard of anything. So anyways, have lunch with him. Shows me a picture of his X.com bank checks. And I'm like, wow. He goes, yeah, literally I signed up for this and within a few days they sent me checks. Now, flash forward, guys. Eventually, I go to apply for an X.com checking account. Sorry, we're no longer taking new accounts. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Well, then they were acquired by Cofinity, okay? And in 2002, they were rebranded the name PayPal. Now, we all heard about, you know, the PayPal mafia and everything they did. And what they wanted to do was, you know, basically get rid of, you know, MasterCard and Visa and American Express and have a payment portal where they handled everything. And back in the day, if you think about 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago, people, you know, I would use PayPal for, you know, my online purchases through eBay and different auction sites and things like that. And it was just incredibly easy to use. It made it so that you could go and buy all this stuff. So, you know, flash forward, they sell the company, you know, everybody cashes out, Peter Thiel, Elon Musk, all these different guys, you know, the, uh, the guy that started, uh, you know, anyways, all those other idiots got money. Okay, lots of it. And uh, I don't want to misquote and say, say one of the wrong guys and attribute him to that. So they all got money. And flash forward, Elon starts Tesla, SpaceX, and everything that we know him for right now. Now, when he took over X, one thing that he talked about was having it be a site for everything. And everybody's like, what's that mean? You know, what does a site for everything mean? Well, the latest thing is that they want to turn X into a financial banking portal. And he put a mandate through the company, and there's a great article below talking about how he wants to make this company everything for finances, not just your bank. Now, here's the thing about this. They are licensed in nine states right now to conduct business and do interstate banking transfers, X's. So they're on their way. They don't have all 50 states yet, but they want to make it so that you will never leave the site. And with the change of banking, with the problems with banking, with the problems with Bank of America, and if you don't think that Jamie Dimon and JP Morgan are having problems when this guy's selling $100 million worth of his stock, you know, the timing, everything. Why is he not selling a billion dollars? Because he doesn't want it to crash. So they're going to put that on the open market this week, as a matter of fact, and you're going to see these huge changes. But he wants to make it so that you will not need a bank account. You will go to X. You will get paid through X. You will pay bills through X. You will also, the thing about this is I researched it, he wants to have stock trading. He wants it to where your securities and your investment portfolio will be handled through this. So the mandate that he put through to the CEO of the company is I want this set up in the calendar year 2024. I want to be able to have banking on X and have it be the platform that everybody will use for their financial services. Wow, that is, that's crazy when you think about that. But with everything that we're living through right now, with all these different banking problems, the Wells Fargo problem, the B of A problem, the small banks, the regional banks that you guys have seen, it's gonna be interesting to see if he can pull this off. So what they're trying to do is make it so that it's one portal for all your money. So it's gonna be very, very interesting to see if they can 
do that. Now, most people, ah, you're an idiot. I, I don't think that that's going to work. You know, you've seen a lot of these things come and flame out. And uh, if you saw the movie Dumb Money, you saw how Robin Hood, those two buffoons that ran that place, um, were only in it for themselves. When you hear about this, it's kind of fascinating because with the history of banking, they tried to have, um, you know, places like Walmart wanted their own bank. Walmart has payment services, but they don't have bank branches in their banks right now. They don't have that. So that's the one thing that they just don't have. Will they have an X.com branch? Probably not. But will they have the Capital One type cafe? Maybe. They're talking about different portals where you could go visit your money and have it be an experience. So interesting to say the least. The other thing, which I can't believe they said in the same breath, which is what makes this Looneyville in this one sense, was he wants to also turn X into a dating site. And he wants it to be the place that you will go to meet people. Well, you can meet people on X right now, but he wants it to be a dating site. Can you imagine that? So X.com, he wants it to be a dating platform for you to meet people. And uh, he wants that set up in the next calendar year as well. So again, if he pulls this off, we will see. I, I think it's kind of funny. I can only imagine this guy trying to uh, uh, do this on his own. So it will be interesting. The thing that I've learned about this from the algorithms and sites and things like that, there's a tremendous amount of money on the different dating platforms that are out there. And, uh, you know, maybe he'll have video dating and he'll be, hi, I'm Elon. I'm worth $200 billion and I like electric cars and I'm kind of into space. But ladies, if you want to have sex, uh, Thursday at, uh, hang on, let me check my calendar, 940, uh, swing by the office and uh, we can hook up. You got to be out by 10 because I got the bank at 10 o'clock and I can't keep the bank waiting. So... Share your thoughts. <laughs> Anyways, if you have your money in one of these financial institutions and you don't think that there's going to be major changes, this guy knows that there's changes coming. This guy knows that the banks are not going to exist the same way at Thanksgiving of 2024. And if you knew that, you would worry about this and you would make sure your money's protected, whether you are into metals, you're into other investments, but you need to have money out of the financial institution. If you're on a fixed income, just try to have 10% in cash out of the banking system. Multiple banks, I've had more relatives, more friends. Oh my gosh, Dan, you know, we committed to October to where we're going to set up three more bank accounts. Good for you. Congratulations. So, you know, Share your thoughts on this stuff, guys. This is the beginning of this, okay? And he's not doing this because he wants better service. Oh, he wants to own everything, Dan. No, there's a reason for this. He's convinced that the banks aren't going to be around. And he's convinced that there's going to be real, real problems. The charade that we're being shown right now of everything being great. I love the people that write me and say, our economy has never been better. Everything's never been better. Okay, layoffs, cutbacks, every company I know that is doing major changes to the, their employees, major changes to their network, major changes to everything to make sure that they're going to have more money during this time. You know, you can't argue with this. And the Bank of Elon, guys, it's going to be there. So would you, would you put your money in that? You know, see, this is the thing. Elon Musk having a bank, somebody older is going to have to be convinced, you know, I'm not on that Twitter thing, Dan. I don't think I'd put my money there. So there's going to be some convincing that's going to need to be done. It's going to be the younger people, to say the least, who have the least amount of money. So that's the, the $64,000 question you have right now. You know, when you look at the history, and read the articles below because they're fascinating. When you look at X.com and you look at how they merged and everything like that, it's really, really fascinating what they did and how much money they made. 
And, uh, you know, we'll see. The dating side, I think, is ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's not ridiculous because it'll be young people on there using it, and people don't want to talk to people. People don't want to say hello or anything like that. They just want to do it online. Oh, she's, she's dissing me. It's nuts, okay? Communication, guys, it's the key. Ask for things, okay? So just a quick video, guys. Share your thoughts and all this stuff. Will you use the Bank of Elon? Let me know, okay? Onward and upward. I'll see you guys very soon. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, join the email list, and uh, lots of cool stuff happening in November.